Okay, so really quick video. Um, I've seen the video Keith Knittel or Kinnitel uh, has made about B4 lenses. And one of his things that he mentioned um, in the video in the comments was he didn't know where to get zoom sticks if, um, if uh, lens didn't have a zoom stick. So uh, by zoom stick, I mean, um, this is one that I've made. Uh, but it's like a little protrusion rod um, or what we call in Australia a zoom stick that um, is used for manually zooming the lens and just makes it easier to grip rather than gripping onto the really thin uh, zoom ring on broadcast lenses. So for these, if your lens doesn't have one um, already when you get the lens, without zoom stick, like that and you would like a zoom stick um, you can use a m3 bolt which fits perfectly in there you just have to be careful not to screw it in too far because when you screw it in fully into that threaded point um, don't mind the thunder outside filming this in the middle of a storm um, but when you thread in the m3 thread in um, if you bottom it out in there, um, thread it in fully, it actually locks the zoom ring. So just be aware of that. If you thread it in and it locks the zoom ring and it gets stuck or is a bit more stiff than you want it to be, um, just unthread it a bit and it will be fine. Um, that's in case a lens is used in a fixed position at a fixed zoom and they don't want anything moving on it. Um, but anyway, so. I've made these just out of a M3 screw, a machine screw, and a um, 3D printed cylinder essentially with a cutout for the screw to go in. So I have made, I'll make the files available for free, um, but I've made a 12, a 16, and a 22 mil uh, zoom stick um, of, yeah different different lengths essentially so this is the 22 it's um quite a bit longer than i would choose to use but i figured some people might only um, might not have a servo grip and might want to manually zoom their lens with a larger stick um, so yeah there's that's the 22 it's nice and long um, it's probably as long as i'd recommend going and um, basically yeah you can 3D print these off, the file will be th free for each size. Um, and then you get a 10 millimeter uh, M3 screw. So the threads are 10 millimeters long. And then you get a really uh, narrow flathead or Phillips or depending on your um, screw head type. Mine is a uh, Phillips and flathead. So I get a really thin flathead screwdriver and screw it in till you have um, about two millimeters of thread poking out the bottom there. Um, it's friction fit so that um, you can keep screwing it through to get more thread, but you don't want too much thread to come through. So yeah, 22 millimeter gives you about that size, which is great if you're not using a servo zoom or don't have any rigging that will interfere with that. Then we have a 16 millimeter length, which is like that. It's a nice middle ground. I don't know if you can actually see that if my hand was in the way, but um, that's the 16 millimeter. And then I also made the 12 millimeter, which is sort of the size that I prefer. Um, as I typically use the servo grip for most of my zooming, but I just want a really small bit to grab and that's sort of um, plenty big without intruding on the rest of my rigging that goes around this. So yeah, those files are free, um, but feel free to make your own designs um, because they're really simple, literally, it's just a cylinder of, um, yeah, I 3D modeled them for printing. It's just a cylinder that I 3D modeled. And then I um, cut out um, a cylinder inside the zoom stick for 
the size of the head of the bolt I was using. And then I also cut a cylinder through the entire length of the zoom stick um, so that um, in the 3D modeling program, so that the M3 screw can go through as well. I just measured the M3 screw and um, yeah, cut a cylinder out that way. So these are literally just um, a cylinder of plastic. It's, it's very basic geometric modeling. And then I beveled the top where um, your finger um, is going to end up touching a bunch. So it's not a sharp 90 degree corner. But yeah, um, you can sort of model anything you'd like for them. Um, for my ingenue here in the background, um, the zoom stick's not on at the moment, but I actually um, modeled in a ball at the end of the cylinder so that there's a ball like um, the factory zoom sticks have a little bit of a, a round uh, ball at the end so you can grip onto them better um, if that's what you want but um, yeah I prefer these a nice short uh, basic cylinder for my uses but yeah most uh, lenses use an M3 thread for those uh, zoom sticks so that's that um, if you happen to have a cinema version, like I've got the HJ cinema lens here in the background, uh, it doesn't use a M3 screw. Um, I'm pretty sure they're M4s, but all the broadcast grade and professional video grade um, use an M3 thread for their zoom sticks. Hope that helps any people who are, you know, have got lenses without zoom sticks and would like to add um, some cheap zoom sticks as they're not really commercially available to buy uh, for older lenses especially. Cool, see you in the next video.